Mutations, Utopians, as promised, I here I'm here to give you guys a breakdown of the uh, big trade for Justin Fields. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers acquired Justin Fields from the Chicago Bears. Uh, it turned it was for a sixth round pick, could equal it to a fourth round pick if he does uh, end up getting substantial time. Uh, um, Russell Wilson was never a guaranteed. Pittsburgh is a defensive program, and they had Mason Rudolph and Kyle Pickett. And with 16 touchdowns, still made it to the playoffs uh, amongst those two. And that defense is so stifling. They were never going to get an elite uh, prospect at quarterback in terms of, you know, one of the big names. So them getting into the trade market, I'm impressed. I am shocked Ryan Poles waited this long to make that deal happen. And considering that Justin Fields may very well get moved for what in virtue was a Kenny Pickett like uh, trade compensation. In fact, the Eagles might have gotten a little bit more for Kenny Pickett than just than the uh, Bears got for Justin Fields. I'm a little bit shocked. Now, granted, I know it's Howie Roseman and he is the Jerry West, Sam Presti of the NFL, but it's still a little bit shocking when you look at the fact that Ryan Poles had the wherewithal to move off that first overall pick in the pressure of drafting Bryce Young last year and in return turn that into Darnell Wright, Tyreek Stevenson, DJ Moore, and now Keenan Allen. Um, for Fields, I'm a little bit worried about his market because if he doesn't in the event see the light of day next year, he could be facing a Tyler Huntley market. And Tyler Huntley, it's crazy to me because he's 26 years of age, dual threat quarterback, has a playoff start under his resume, backed up the two-time MVP Lamar Jackson. And here we are, he's one of the last to find a job in the NFL. And Justin Fields will be no different if he does not get any minutes to prove himself with George Pickens. Uh, to also to piggyback, this is a great opportunity for him because they got George Pickens, Van Jefferson, Denzel Mims, Marcus Callaway, and then the two-headed monster of Najee Harris and Jalen Warren, who was a very underrated uh, uh, running back last year. Him and Ford from the Cleveland Browns emerged on the scene, and definitely, if they keep up the pace where they're at, will be commanding starter money when they become free agents. Um, I believe one of them has actually been already given a contract extension. But there's definitely not a shortage of weapons in Pittsburgh. And so Justin needs to just hope that he can get on the field. I don't see him opening day starting over Russell Wilson. I think Wilson's experience. And at the end of the day, he did throw 29 touchdowns, even though it was with a quarterback whisperer slash offensive guru and Sean Payton. So that's going to be interesting. But if somehow Justin Fields does get the light of day and does uh, – show glimpses and flashes of promise he could definitely command a 2020 ryan Tannehill 100 million dollar ballpark baker mayfield 2024 contract with the buccaneers where there will still be exits everyone it looks like these days in virtue is playing on some kind of variation of one-year deal but the pittsburgh steelers did win themselves a great trade waiting it out got themselves a great backup quarterback to match an already stifling defense that got even better with the addition of former Baltimore Raven AFC rival Patrick Queen with Watt, who didn't even play in the playoffs last year, unfortunately, due to injury. They're on track to continue to be great, and the Steelers are in the st are making the necessary steps. Very nice, patient move, trusting the river walk, so to speak, a card betting reference, and just and just counting on what was on, uh, on the unforeseen. Um, I think I've covered all angles. The Bears, the Steelers, Justin Fields market cap. All right, I'll try to do better next time. Utopians Global out.